Hello and welcome back to another session of this Let's Play. Uh, okay, um, start off. I think we should take a look at this Baron's Alliance because we haven't done that, and they're pretty new. Uh, came in, coming out of England, I guess. So sort of uh, opposition to the English rule. Yeah, you see, they don't really have much. Fun thing here is that you see Norway going above England here. It's been actually going steadily down. Uh, much thanks to the Irish, I think, as you can uh, compare here. But now it looks like England will take Wales. Already have this region. They are about to take this region, which will leave uh, Wales with only this one. So that's really bad. Financially, we are going down. But we are, we've been stabilizing a bit more now, and I'll try to focus more on that in the future. Uh, Ireland, bankrupt. <laughs> they had a tremendous amount of wealth, which is now gone completely. Don't know how, but yeah. yeah England, is it? No, that's not... Is that... Oh, okay. Well, obviously they have gone down because they're probably going to have to spend some money. Uh, how are they military-wise, though? Yeah, we're uh, <laughs> moving quite steadily along with Ireland. Hopefully we'll catch up. Overall you see that Norway has been climbing up high and we are about to catch up with England. Which is really amusing to me. But now I think we should get started and deal with this problem. I'll rip off your head and spit down your neck! Or this is it the same name? Captain Bressel, Captain Bressel. Adam, okay, well, that's fine. Yeah. Make them fear you. Oh. Orders, my king. So that's how it is, is it? Um but I guess if we leave out these, we can go. But um Yeah. Actually, maybe we should take care of these guys first Mike. before we do anything else. Moving into position. Oh, okay. Wait, really? Okay, no, I think. Okay, I'm gonna. I'll wrap off your head and cavalry, spit cavalry, on your cavalry, neck. horse boys. Okay. Let's check this. So, if you want to get to Lifford, you cannot go this way. Is that so? Okay, because if that's the case, uh, yeah, we should definitely take care of these guys first, and maybe we could take out this fort, because apparently to get to Lifford they would have to go through this passage, which is interesting. It also means that by moving our entire army out to take out this one, we would not leave Lifford exposed, except for to I'll these guys, but I'm not worried about that. Uh, oh, speaking of stabilizing the economy, we are in minus still. Yeah, I need to get my stuff together. I will make them fear you. We need you, we yes. need you, we need you. Oh, we definitely my need you guys. My as much cavalry as possible. I, my lord. My king. I would really Orders like to have some king. artillery support Orders as well. My king. But uh, pretty much I would like to have everyone, but that's not possible. Just one unit. And they are pretty good as well, they have armor, experience, but, no, it's gonna be like this, and they are, they are gonna run away, withdraw to the fort. We march to our enemies too. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Your enemies lie dead yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah. Will make them fear. Yeah, because I'm also worried that these guys would go to Derry, which would be bad. Just gonna save the game before I attack. Leave your mercy behind, men. We Night shall attack. None. Really, by any standards, this should be a straightforward battle, but I don't know. Because they have a lot Do of cavalry, and uh, yeah, we don't really have the capacity to deal with a lot of cavalry. So we'll see how it goes, but I think I don't think I'll show this. I'll just. Uh, get back to you when the battle is over unless something interesting happens during the battle. And here we are. Strange battle but we won and now it's over. 
We lost 76 men, uh, they lost 318 out of 383. Which doesn't really leave them with much, so I guess it depends now to see if they will disband or not. Um, no! Please! Well, actually I feel like execute them, but I'm gonna ransom, which basically means the same because Ireland does not have any money. So it's a nice way of <laughs> executing them. Great increase. Oh, that's good. Uh, problem is though that they did not disband and now they withdrew to this fort. And not many of them though and um... Yeah. I guess we are gonna have to take this fort. Once we breach the walls they are finished. I have them trapped my king. Which you can do straight away and which we will do straight away. So I'll be back when uh... We have this fort. Show no mercy to our people's enemies! The enemy general lies dead! We have sent the core to excellent! Our men have taken control and now. of the fort! We won. We had our armies ready here to march in, but that never happened. So there's no need for it. And there the last man goes. Clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor. <laughs> we lost only 15 men. I wonder if we should try to hold the fort instead of marching on to this guy. To be honest, I'm not sure if we can march. We are triumphant. Not if we want our entire army. My king. Cruel and cunning. <laughs> well, he is cunning, I'll tell you that. Counter spy? Oh yeah, yeah, because he was in Edinburgh. True. True story. This uh, army is a bit tattered and torn already, and that's not good because they got most of the pressure from... Uh, these guys and the guys from Down Patrick. Army of Cork seems to be in real yeah. good shape, but they're kind of forced to stay here. Not good. Who is my target? But if they could like take Tipperary and whatever this is, the entire west coast of Ireland or the entire west side. My king, name the target. And then they could rejoin with uh, Sturgård here. But yeah, we'll see what happens. But I think I'll let him just stay there for now. No further today. It's just as good. Honor, Lord. Without question, my lord. Continuing I if we should go to Dublin so we can have an eye on Tomorrow's Dublin as well. Awaits. Don't like what we see here. I mean, I could give a region in Ireland to them, but problem is that I don't think um, it doesn't really help much if the English take an Avon and take uh, whatever nobles they have left, because that then whatever we give them will become a rebel faction, and now I don't want that. Sire. For obvious reasons, because we will yes. just have to conquer it yet again. Wow. All right, this guy. Let's see. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. The king is out, and he actually looks different now. That's cool. King Magnus. I like him. Superb administrator. The question is, what do we do with him now? Uh, Edinburgh, now Ireland I mean, they got their armies, we should maybe send in the army re reinforcement fleet, but um, I'm not sure we have the resource capacity to do that. An honor oh to my, look at his movement points. He can go all over the place. 
Oh yeah, it's because of this. Nice. This also applies for the army commanded by him. He is insane. <laughs> Look at this. Oh well. But yeah, I think it's a bit good idea to put him in um, this place, Edinburgh maybe. With honor. Can even raise the tax to very high. Oh god, I love this king. He's a great guy. We really could use some reinforcements here, but I don't think we have the time or resources for the moment. Borders, my king. Maybe we don't need it either, I don't know. We should prepare like an invasion for, for, force for England as well, but um... <laughs> they're so big I don't even know where to start. You know what I think is funny? That uh, uh <laughs> Carlisle is ri uh, rioting. <laughs> They've been building up a bit, I think. My king. Very good lord. <laughs> but it's not in good shape. You're welcome Moving England. Quietly. Hope you enjoy that little treat from us. I really don't know what to do next. We could go on another raid. Uh -huh. This is a large town now. Maybe, maybe we should yes. sack Newcastle. Moving into position. That will give us some money. Continuing on tomorrow. My lord. Yes. Family member, we could kill him as well. <laughs> oh, we're so crazy. We had to pass through this place and these guys. Unless. Yes, my king. Unless we do it the sneaky way. Orders, my king. Yes. Which we could, and which Man, we will. March. <laughs> we move on. We're gonna send them by a ship, or with ship here and uh, down to Newcastle, and then we'll go in. But yeah, I think that's it for this turn. So I'm just gonna end it. Yeah, there's nothing we can do more here. What's that sound? That sounds strange. Ah, oh, excellent. Now see, this is why I didn't go for uh, England, or the English uh, settlement in Ireland here. Because now I can play on the conflicts between England and Ireland as well. And if Ireland had had this entire island, um, taking it would be a lot harder. But now I can play on the fact that England is present and they're pulling back. Oh, is that the king? Or maybe not? No, it's not, it's not. But they pull back. Why? He's coming closer. Uh oh. Ah! No, no, no. <laughs> Shit. Not good at all. Yeah, I guess they noticed that we <laughs> left the fort open. Prince Ulfidina, I trust your judgment. A oh. new discovery that could change the course of warfare. Gunpowder. This dark powder may look innocent enough, but when brought to spark, it explodes with a force that is unmatched. Really? This terrible weapon will make armor obsolete and render castle walls near useless. It would be wise to be the first to master its use in war. It would indeed be wise. Can we do that somewhere though? 